Here we have a rare bottle of promotional Ecto Cooler from 2021's new release of Ghostbusters Afterlife, as well as a bottle of Juicy Juice Orange Tangerine, dyed slime green, 100% real juice compared to Ecto Cooler's 10%. Healthier, and a batch of home brewed Ecto Cooler made using a secret retro 80s recipe from Coca Cola's archives with hard to find ingredients sourced directly from Coca Cola. This canister is courtesy of Noah Voiding from the San Diego Ghostbusters, who has dispensed the juice at Comic Cons to great acclaim and blown minds because Ecto Cooler's ingredients changed slightly when it was re released in a blindfold taste test. Can they be told apart? And which will our taste testers prefer? Might we all be pining for Ecto Cooler when Juicy Juice really takes the cake? With Ecto Cooler back in the vault indefinitely, let's answer these questions, even if personal preference is ultimately subjective. I experienced Ecto Cooler in my youth. I don't remember exactly every little nuance of the taste. When I think of it, I automatically think of like being at school drinking it, like when I was younger. I drank one of these not that long ago, but uh, the original I had, I don't know, back in the day. I feel like if I had it again, I it would like bring back like a flood of memories. I do remember it being at one of my birthday parties when I was like six or seven in like the year. You know, 1991 or two. I'm really interested to see if you can tell the difference between any of these. Blindfolded. To your left, you got it. All right. Okay, I need to have more. It's okay. good, it's good. It doesn't taste like the Ecto Cooler, I don't think. It tastes almost like there's not enough flavor, so I feel like this might be the homebrew one. What would you rate it? Uh, probably like six. This tastes like the Ecto Cooler, because it's just kind of like, boom. Like, I feel like it's like a, I feel like the homemade could go two ways. It could be like, it's homemade and it doesn't have enough flavor, or it's homemade and it has a, a lot of flavor. Right. But right off the rip, I feel like, oh, now that, uh, I don't know now <laughs> that I had a second sip. I think this is the Juicy Juice. Damn, this is banging. This is like, like an eight, seven or an eight. Okay. I, I, everything's coming together now. So the last one was Ecto Cooler. Mm. This is the Juicy Juice. Because this tastes like, this tastes professional, if that makes sense. This one's like about the same as the other one, I would say, like seven or eight. That was the homebrew that you just This read. was? Yes, the oh one that you God. rated seven or eight and you thought was legitimate juice. Wow. Uh, and it is supposed to be, you know, as close to regional, like 90s Ecto Cooler as, as possible. So you liked it a lot. Yes. The one you had before that was Ecto Cooler, so you tasted the extra sugar in that one and oh. the, the flavor, you know? Okay. And the first one was Juicy Juicy, you know, you rated it a little lower. So it is kind of, it's our first indicator that Juicy Juice might not be as tasty as Ecto Cooler because you rated the other two high. Oh, wow. That is very sweet. Mm. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that tastes like a, like a tropical goodness. A tropical goodness. A tropical goodness. But like, it would be a little bit more palatable through a straw, maybe. <laughs> okay, you want a straw, I I'll do. give you a straw. I want a straw. Mm. That's a good, that's a good. Too sweet. I'm gonna say, I think this is Juicy Juice, mm. and this is actual Ecto Cooler. I think this is the concoct, like the homebrew recipe. original recipe, but this one's my favorite. Yeah. And this one I think is, all, this one's too sweet for me. All right, take off the blindfold. <laughs> so you thought Ecto Cooler was Juicy Juice and Juicy Juice was Ecto Cooler. Oh, wow. You got the homebrew correct. <laughs> uh, you like Juicy Juice the most, which means that you like real juice. I could just drink Juicy Juice yeah. all the time. Yeah. Bottoms up. Yeah. yeah, this definitely needed to be blind. You can wait till the difference between the colors. Right, yeah. It's cool though. Yeah. I'm gonna smell it. Mmm, okay. It doesn't smell super sweet to me. I feel like it smells like it's maybe the juicy juice. Yeah, it just, it smells kind of like more like real juice than like a sugary concoction. Um, I have not tried the juicy juice in the Ecto Cooler and the retro recipe back to back. I've had a lot of the ju juicy juice, maybe more of the juicy juice than Ecto Cooler in the last 10 years because it's been a good alternative. And I've never tried the retro recipe, so let me go ahead and go. Oh, wow. The taste is so much different than the smell. Uh, this is not the Juicy Juice. I'm gonna say that is the retro recipe. It just feels like there's more fine sugars or something. Honestly, if, if uh, this does not taste like Ecto Cooler uh, to me, I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, but maybe, you know, it's, it's that, this is the, the sort of Ecto Cooler I had as a kid. 
and, uh, and I, my memory's been replaced by the 2016 version that came out recently. It's, it's all sorts of things. Um, I'd say maybe like a five or a six, just honestly. I think everyone's palate's a little different. I'm gonna smell even though it didn't really prove conclusive last time. This smells so different. Mmm. I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> I, I wish everything I had smelled like this. And this is just regular Ecto Cooler. It's either the regular Ecto Cooler, in my opinion, or the Juicy Juice, right? I think, I, th I hope I'm not wrong. It'd be embarrassing. I think this is Ecto Cooler um, and it's most like, you know, it's most recent form. It could be the Juicy Juice. It's not so much of a kick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is Juicy Juice because it just, yeah, it's got like the aftertaste tastes like just juice. There's no like sugary, chemically anything. Juicy Juice is, I mean, it's, it's real juice. There's, you know, I think Ecto Cooler is 10% or something. Which is delicious, so I'd put it out of like a seven or an eight. You can barely smell it. That last one smelled so florally and good, but or citrusy. Oh, interesting. <laughs> they all taste very different, so I can't say that they're exactly the same. You know, just from pure mouthfeel, I feel like this is Ecto Cooler, as in like the one with the slime around the bottle. Yeah, I drank a lot of this when it came out in 2016 to the point where I was kind of tired of it for a while. So I feel like the way the acids are hitting, like it's it's reminding me of that drink I had quite a lot in the last five years. And it's good, I mean, it's very good. Uh, I think amongst them, this is my favorite. So I'm gonna go nine. I don't know what it would take. I think a little less acidy just because I get reflux, but I, I like it a lot, nine. All right, you ready for the reveal? Yes. You were wrong on all of them. Well, no way. Just kidding, you were correct on all of them. <laughs> You were correct. So the last one was the the high C ecto cooler that you know and love okay. with the little slime around the bottle. Ooh, oh, it's so bright in here. <laughs> and now the ultimate test. What does a kid think of all three drinks? Here's the first one. What do you think? Ooh, ooh, no, no. Nah. Too sour. Too sour. All right, you know, try the next one. All right, try the next one. It's different. Pretty good. Pretty good. And third one. Which one did you like the most? This one. The last Th one. That's your favorite? Guess what? Yeah. You choose Ecto Cooler! <laughs> and you liked the retro recipe, but you're not a fan of Juicy Juice. I love Ecto Cooler. <laughs> And there you have it. The differences between the juices was super clear with a slight preference for Ecto Cooler across the board. Stay tuned for our next video where for the first time ever, the San Diego Ghostbusters will reveal how to make the retro recipe at home, complete with the flavors and sweeteners you'd expect from the era. And don't let the green hue fool you. Noah in San Diego is colorblind, but doing his best to match regardless. Thank you for following along and cheers.